Happy Sunday, Virgos. How are you all doing today? I hope you have a good weekend. We're going to get started on your readings. Don't forget that I am doing same day readings today and tomorrow. Okay. So I'm going to do, uh, what is your life purpose, Virgo? Okay. Possibly you all are already in your life purpose energy. Some of you may not be. Maybe you're wondering, what are you meant to do? Okay. Life purpose reading for Virgo. What are your life purposes? I'm starting with, oh, education. Education is an important part of your soul's development at this time. Okay. Education. Uh, this really doesn't mean that you need to go back to school for some of it. Maybe, maybe some of you all have been thinking about, I need to take some classes. I need to go back and do the, get a degree. Maybe I need to finish high school or whatever, but learning more education. My pastor's wife used to always tell us learning stops at the grave. Okay. You have possibly already been seeing numbers, maybe 47 a lot. I'm sorry, not number 47. Maybe you've been seeing sevens a lot. All right. Your life purpose, Virgo. Let's see. We're having atomic negative thoughts. I'm sorry, atomic. Automatic negative thoughts. You are learning to take charge of your thoughts you choose to give life to. So you're thinking things negatively. You've been saying, well, you know what? I've been, I need to get out of this, this process of thinking so negatively all the time. I need to change my thought pattern. Okay, change the way you think about things, okay? Um, possibly the life you grew up in, the era I'm hearing you grew up in, maybe some siblings, some family energies that kind of hit, kind of hindered you from moving forward in your life. You're choosing to change the way you think about the past, all right? But you need to learn how to deal with that, learn how to possibly some anger, pent up anger at your family members. Uh, siblings, maybe parents, the things that they took you through, the things that you went through growing up, okay? You're needing to change that. You're needing to take charge of your life. How wishful thinking. Hmm. You are learning how to manifest the life you want, the, the life that you desire. And learning, you may have to go to some, um, I don't want to say, liar, maybe higher learning, maybe talking to a... Um, a counselor about some things that took place in your life while you're thinking negative. How come I can't change my thought process? How come things can't get better? But this is all about what you think. This is possibly uh, maybe going through some stressful situations in your life, having an unforgiving heart of, of things that happened to you in, in the past with, with relatives. Okay. You try to figure out how can you change that? Cause you don't want to be, you don't want to live a hard hearted life. All right. But it's hard sometimes. We got empath. You may be confusing other people's energy with your own. What you're feeling may not be all of your energy. You may be picking up on some energy of what other people are thinking and other people are feeling. All right. You got speaking up. Hmm. Your soul is guiding you to stand your light, to stand in your light and speak your truth. Some of you need to speak your truth to some negative things things that have taken place in your life. Some family members, you need to talk up, speak up to these people. Tell them why you stay the fuck away from them, okay? Tell them why you don't return phone calls or you don't hang out together at family gatherings. You probably have issues with the holidays. Uh, July 4th is tomorrow. Maybe you're not doing anything. Maybe you choose not to do anything with your family members because it brings up too much shit from the past, all right? That's, that's why that hard hearted energy is coming from. You may get a phone call or a text me a message. Why don't you come over and pick up a plate? Why don't you come out and hang out with the family? Y'all know I'm cool. I'm good. You know, but why? Why did you, Why are you choosing not to hang out with your siblings, your cousins, your family members, whoever? Okay, but you're backing up away. But you're wanting like, why can't I let the past go? Why do I have to keep holding on to this because it hurts so much? You need to find a way to deal with it. All right. Hey, okay, bye, God. What's your life purpose here? I'm going to know your life purpose is to forgive yourself. Okay. We have here increase. You have successfully manifested something near and dear to your heart. So you're manifesting good things in your life. Something near and dear to your heart could be you're manifesting someone that's going to come back from your family member and apologize. And your family element is going to come back to apologize. Okay. Because this is something that you're manifesting. Because I feel that you have a hard heart based on what happened to you when you were a child or growing up in general, something with the family, something with the cousins, you know, possibly something with the parents or a parent, however you were raised, but you're, it's like you're hard hearted. It's hard for you to let that go. Something about 
I don't know, something about, I don't know if it's sociology or something. It's, it's dealing with the mind, dealing with the family element. It's like whatever you were dealing with, it, it felt normal, though it possibly wasn't normal. Everybody didn't go through what you went through as a child. But it's like it wasn't the norm. OK, you probably thought it was because that's what you grew up in, but it wasn't. All right. And we have your positive life changes. All right, go making some changes in your life. Positive life changes are ahead if you choose to trust in the process. You got to choose this this process that's coming your way. You want to make some changes. It starts with you. It changes. It starts. It starts with how you're thinking about things, how you're choosing to to communicate with others, to confess your hard heart, you know, and, and say, "Well, I feel this way because you did this to me, or because you did that to me. You treated me this way. You treated that. You treated me that way." All right. So you got to speak up to yourself. Speak up for yourself. You know. And you're going to have increased blessings in your life, regardless of what it is that you do. But sometimes it's going to help you heal because you're releasing this, this uh, automatic negative thoughts that run through your head all the time. We have shooting star. That car fell out. OK. You're a shooter. You are a shooting star. You're about to step into your fullest potential, your increase. Your fullest potential. You're you're about to really, really do some things in your life. I don't know if you realize that or not. And you're successful, successfully manifesting this increased energy, this increased. I'm hearing for some of you workload, this increased income coming into your life. But kind of maybe you're feeling a little lonely right now. OK, holiday is here. You're not communicating with some, some family members. Some you do, some you don't, you know, but this is a season of increase for you. All right. This is you being able to re release the past. So we have spiritual growth. You've grown so much. OK. You are currently experiencing a lesson required for your spiritual evolution. And this is forgiving those that hurt you, Virgo. And it may be hard. It may be so hard to forgive people who have hurt you, who have said some negative things about you in your life. How do you think you're ever going to be able to get over it? Talk it out. OK. Speak your truth to these people. They may not want to hear it. And you may not not you may not be open to hearing what they need to say to you. But if your if your um, parents, mother and father are no longer with you, it's the siblings that you have some issues with. It's some, the siblings that you probably can't stand. They can't stand you. Work it out. If you can't work it out. Be peaceful with one another. Be respectful of one another. OK, we got the shooting star that came back out. OK, you are the shooting star stepping into your fullest potential. You have this growth, this spiritual light about you that the family saw, okay, which was probably irritated them and, and made them a little envious and jealous of you because they saw how powerful, they saw your potential. They, they saw your powerful potential, so they treat you like crap. That's self-love. Love yourself. You love yourself enough to say, you know what, I'm done, okay? You are learning that your capacity to love others indirectly related to your ability to love yourself is directly related to your ability to love yourself, okay? So you've, you're practicing self-love. That's why you're keeping to yourself or keeping away from these family, I'm hearing toxic family members, okay? They saw you. They saw how, how bright you shine. I always say that in my readings for you, all these people who you grew up around, who you live in the same household, you have to love yourself enough to back up because you say, you know what? I'm not gonna let you, you treat me like this. I'm not gonna let you talk down to me like this, okay? The, the black wolf. I'm sorry, black wolf. <laughs> the black sheep of the family, Virgo. They saw how 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 high you could go in your life, and they realized that I can't go that high. So, Virgo, I'm gonna try to shoot them down every chance I got. But you were the shooting star. Okay, tough love. It is time to tell the truth about something you have been avoiding, Virgo. It's time to tell the truth. Tough love with yourself. You've been holding back much too long speaking your truth to these people. It may be a hard pill for them to swallow, but if they want you in their life in any capacity, they have to listen. OK, we have wishful thinking, though. They ain't going to listen to you. You are learning how to manifest the life that you desire. So this this family member or these family members who you no longer speak to, they are bitter. They're bitter, okay? But more so out of jealousy than anything because of the lifestyle that you chose to live. So you got to think about that. Energy healer. They don't like the fact that you have a, you have a, a higher calling in your life. You are natu your natural ability to heal, your, heal yourself and others is needed now. So you're a light worker. And they may not understand that. 
They might not, may not understand your spiritual growth here and on your journey. And they probably tell you, well, you don't need to be doing tarot. Or you don't need to be listening to it. And what are you doing in that kind of lifestyle? What do you need to, what are you watching those, those kind of readings for? You know, that's against God's law or whatever. But these people pushed you out of your life a long time ago, about out of their life a long time ago. You set yourself aside. You were always by yourself growing up. You were never with the whole family unit all the time. Okay? You felt like an outcast. You felt like a loner. All right. And we have here, Rexy, reconciliation. The relationship, this relationship, friendship or partnership can be saved. It can be. This is this is tough. It's even for me. Because there's a lot of, I got family members I don't talk to since my mother passed away. But I'm thinking spirit wants you all to reconnect. I don't know if it's because of the energy about the holiday or whatever. Uh, maybe somebody who passed away, their birthday is around. And this is a tough situation for you that you're possibly in right now. You know, like, I don't, I don't know. But, you know, spirit wants you to, to communicate. Can't fix it overnight. And it's, it's possibly wish, wishful thinking anyway, uh, if we'll ever, ever connect again as a family unit, siblings, cousins or whatever. All right. And rejoice. You have learned how to make the most out of life, out of everything you didn't been through, Virgo. You didn't been through some shit. You didn't been through a whole lot of stuff with these family members. And you felt like the outcast. You felt like like the lowest of the low because of what they did to you. All right. And we have here, unwavering, but keep your head up, okay? You are being asked to have the faith in the unseen, Virgo. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough. You may not ever, ever deal with these people again on, on the level that your your deceased mother and father, aunts and uncles would want you all to be, okay? And it may not be that way. You just gotta have faith, okay? We have nourishment. You are being asked to take time out for self-care okay and you know what this is your life do what you want to do with your life i always tell you you people of you virgos to march to the beat of your own drum just listen to the beat of mine because i know how hard it is to 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 forgive but we have to have a forgiving heart not for them but for us let's get some final messages virgo final messages for virgos your um intuitive message but this is also about you okay your life purpose just to forgive. It may be hard. We have past life connections here. You are currently healing past life wounds. You're healing. And a part of your healing is, is to be forgiven, but also to ask to forgive and to ask for forgiveness, if that makes sense. Okay. These people who you haven't seen in a while or who you don't communicate with on a regular basis or who you just totally ignore when they call you or text you. Okay. Oh, child, I'm telling you, Jesus, trust and forgiveness. It's time for you to let down your guard and learn to trust again, Virgo. And I'm telling you, that may be a hard pill to swallow. It's probably been five, 10 years, five or 10 months, a couple of years since you've honestly spoken to these people. But you got to trust. Generosity. Giving from your heart with no strings attached is what's needed now. It's like somebody needs you. Somebody needs, somebody was born in 1977. This could be you, this could be somebody that you know, a sibling, okay? This person may need you just to be there, just to listen to them, okay? We have fear, but they're afraid to make the first move or they're afraid to apologize. Your fears are keeping you from moving forward into the life you deserve, okay? Or this could be you, a fear that if you communicate with these people, um, that they're going to be some sort of there's going to be some sort of argument, some kind of altercation or whatever. But somebody is fearful here of speaking up. Somebody is fearful of speaking up, Virgo. Your soul is guiding you to stand in your light and speak your truth. You got to talk to this person. Got to speak up because there's something people listen. This is family. We all know how family can be. Family can be shit starters. Family can be the worst enemies alive to you, Virgo. It's going to be hard to communicate. That's probably why you haven't. It's going to be hard to listen to the truth, to listen to, because everybody thinks that they know the truth. Everybody thinks that they know the truth. Everybody thinks that they know, oh, well, who was in the wrong or who was in the right. Everybody thinks that they have the right answers. You may have been raised in a household with the same parents, mother, father, or a single parent or whatever, but you were raised differently. You were treated differently. Okay. 
your soul, your life purpose. We have career transition for you, Virgo. We have a new door is opening for you. You got to set some boundaries. This is a new career. It's coming your way, okay? Your soul is yearning for a career aligned with your passion and purpose. So your career is going gonna, is gonna to blossom. Your prayers have been answered and a new door is being open is being open for you. It's being held open. You haven't walked through this door yet. But this is also walking through the door of your walking through the door of forgiveness. All right. And we have setting some boundaries. You are learning that you are learning the gentle art of setting boundaries and saying no. Some of you all won't give this person or these people, these family members, these siblings another chance. Regardless of what you do with your family members, if you don't want to see them again, don't. But have the heart of forgiveness and soften your heart, okay? Let's get a final message. Let's get a final message here for Virgo. Surrender, Virgo. Release and surrender all control and let nature take its course. So some of you just got to surrender and, and allow this person to come in to apologize. Maybe you feel you need to apologize to everybody going to... You know, everybody, it's time It's time to, to awaken, okay? You are no longer letting people dictate or run, the li or run your life for you. It's done. It's over with, okay? You haven't seen these people in a while. Or you haven't wholeheartedly communicated with these people in a while. And that's okay. It's okay to step back and evaluate your life and see what it is that you need to do, what it is that you need to change. But <sighs> it's hard to say, I'm sorry. OK, it's hard to listen to somebody's apologies. It's hard to say, well, mama treated you this way or daddy treated you that way. Can't you see we grew up in the same household where we were treated differently? Why can't you see that? Everybody's going to have their own opinion. Everybody's going to have their own fucking story. And everybody think that their story is the truth. All right. So I don't know where you fit in with this reading. I hope it resonates with you because it's, it's, it's resonating with me a <laughs> big time. Let's put a final, a final message for Virgo. Your life purpose, Virgo, is forgiveness. We got karma. You may be involved in a situation that requires justice or fairness. And this is your karma. This is the karma for them and the karma from the other side, from those people who are no longer with you. Some narcissists, some people who, like I said, treated you differently than anybody else in the family. Not only did the elders treat you differently, the, the mother, the father, the aunt, the uncle, uh, whatever, grandparents, your siblings treated you differently because of how the parents treated you. You get it? Because they saw your growth. They saw your potential. They saw how high your star could have gone. All right. But that's up to you. You forgive them or not but don't have a hard heart, all right? Talk to y'all later.